Hello, Chris from ePianos here. Today I want to show you how to save a registration or save your settings on the Yamaha SX700 keyboard. This method will also work with the SX900 keyboard and the Genos keyboards. Pretty easy to do if you know how, of course. Come over to the keyboard and I'll show you how. So when I've got a setting that I want to save on one of these SX700 keyboards, we use what's called the registration memory. Registration memory is rather like taking a snapshot of how the keyboard is set up at any one time for you to recall at a later date. Um, for example, if I have set up a particular sound that I like, like smooth time keyboard, Turn it up a little bit, smooth time keyboard. And I've got a rhythm that I want. Let's say uh, unplugged ballad, that would be a nice one. The variation that I want as well, variation C. So it sounds a little bit like this. If I've got it just how I want it, I've got the right type of style, right type of sound. I might have set the harmonies or set the extra voices on top if I felt like it. But however you've got it set up, how do we then save it? So next time we turn it on, we can just select that setting and have it all recalled just as we configured it. Well, the way you do that is down here, registration memory. What I'm going to do is, although I've got eight different variations I can use, I'm just going to use one in this case. What you do is you press memory, then button number one. That has saved my configuration temporarily. This is the all important bit into button number one. To save it permanently, what I need to then do is go to these two buttons here that say Regist Bank Select, press them together. This screen will appear now, Regist Bank, Registration Bank, and the User section, where I then need to press File, Save, then Save here, because it's giving me the option to save it in User. If you've got a USB stick in, you will see a USB option down there as well, but I'm going to save it onto the keyboard's onboard memory, which is User. Save here then give it a name. If you hold delete, the current name will disappear. And I'm just gonna call this Chris75 and press okay. And there it is, it is now saved in there as Chris75. So next time I go to turn the keyboard on, I'll just give an example of this. Turn the keyboard off. So next time the keyboard is turned on, the settings that I've just made will be on there, but I have to load them up first. So what I do is go into registrations again here, pressing these two together, or I could press registration at the top there as well, but I prefer to do it with the buttons. And it actually goes straight to the one that I had just saved. But of course you can see we've got loads and loads saved. So you find the one that you want to load up, Press it on the screen so it highlights. Then button number one will recall it exactly as I had it set up. So look on the home screen, smooth time, unplugged ballad, it's all in there. Rhythm will be the same. A lot of people ask me, what does it mean if this comes up where it says the current registration bank has changed, save? They say, I'm trying to load a registration bank, but this message keeps coming up. Well, this message is coming up because you've made an alteration to the currently loaded registration bank, whether knowingly or unknowingly, you've made a change. And this is the keyboard's way of saying, hang on a minute, are you sure you don't want to save this before you move on? Because if you do move on, it's not going to save it permanently. So if you think you've made a change, 
um, that you want to save, then you do press save and then it'll ask you to give it a name. If you don't want to save it, then you just press don't save and it and it will move on to whatever it is that you've selected then. So uh, just to run you through that again, let's take the setting that I'd made previously, this one here, um, with smooth time and unplugged ballad. Let's say that I put in an additional one here where moving from smooth ballad, I wanted to add um, an extra string, say my um, secondary sound. Let's say I wanted to bring strings in and save it into button number two. So press memory button number two. Now, if I don't go through that process of saving it via registration bank, then this will happen when I try to load another setting. Let's say I wanted to load my country pop settings. Up this will come. It'll say, hang on a minute, you've added strings here, but you haven't saved it permanently. What do you want to do? If I press don't save, it'll load up the country strings, but it will not save the... Um, the strings that I put in here. What I have to do is press save and then it'll prompt to me. It'll say, do you want to save here? It assumes I want to override. Press 75 and I press save. OK. Then it'll say it already exists. Do you want to override it? Yes, I do. Then it's saved in the memory. So when I select that next time, I've got my two banks saved in here. Now it will allow me to move on to a different one and that message isn't appearing. Well, I hope that was useful to you. Any questions whatsoever, just leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, bye for now.